high as shit right now. And oh yeah, we are being filmed in 360 degree video camera right now, so I hope you wore your fancy pants, you bitches. You guys, make some noise for my friend yours. He's actually a comic from Los Angeles. He runs a awesome uh, show out of Hooters in West Hollywood. Make some noise for my friend and yours, Stephen Holloman, you guys. <laughs> Question, uh, do you guys like clean or do you like dirty comedy? Dirty. Dirty. Yeah, I haven't showered in a few days. Good. Okay. I think we're gonna get along. Oh, is that I didn't ask that. No, 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 no. I'm not crusty. Uh, I had a lady I had a lady tell me I look like a weak Thor. <laughs> And you guys are laughing because you see it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I've got the Thor hair, but I have like this man beard and I have like a little waitress body. <laughs> I kind of look like if Thor had like a gay stepbrother, you know? And maybe his name was Sore or some shit. It's just like holding a hammer like this big, like, I'm Thor, what's up? <laughs> got a big, strong brother. Anyways, so I told my mom, don't call me weak Thor. I don't like it. She was the one who said it. Uh, I'm originally from Arizona, you guys. I, uh, I grew up in a small northern part of Arizona, and uh, there were two things from my town. Trees. And tweakers. And I didn't want to grow up to be a tree, so I moved. I moved to a, a bigger part of Arizona and found out there's just more trees and more tweakers. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Arizona's crazy. Uh, my parents, they're really awesome people. Um, they tried to stop me when I decided to go to L.A. They were like, don't go to L.A., man. It's dangerous. <laughs> I was like, you guys have never been. Why is it so dangerous? And they were like, uh, traffic. <laughs> like, you guys are retarded. So I moved, I moved to L.A., you guys. I ignored my parents, went out to L.A. I was like, yeah, I'm going to fucking follow my dreams. I don't care about cars. <laughs> I got in a car accident when I was out there. <laughs> they were right. Yeah, man, I got hit from behind. This lady burned me. I had to go. She fucked me up so bad. I had to go see a chiropractor, you guys. That's my backstory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch this joke out, you know what? I hope the people in the back adjust. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the lady I was seeing, she was a really old lady. She was a chiropractor. Her name was Diane. And she was like 78. It made sense to look at she was Diane. <laughs> but it's cool, you guys. She was getting my life straight now, whatever. And then like a month later, she retired. <laughs> When she retired, they got me bent out of shape, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's a chiropractor joke. I like that one. Woo. Yo, I saw eight lesbians the other day. I saw eight lesbians go into a Red Lobster together. Eight of them. Red Lobster. It's funny already, dude. It's like, you guys gonna get octopus? You, I got you good. Get it, octopus. Okay. Eight, eight ladies like that puss. <laughs> I like living in LA, man. LA's crazy. When I moved out there, I moved to Hollywood, and uh, I thought Hollywood was going to be like a magical place because you see all these movies, and everyone's like, yeah, that happens in Hollywood. So I was like, fuck yeah, here I am in Hollywood. I'm walking down the Hollywood Boulevard first week I moved there. And there's this big old fat lady who's homeless, and she looks kind of like a mermaid. And she's laying on the sidewalk, very magical-like. And I was like, all right, that's cool, whatever. And then I get closer, and I notice she's got, like, a better beard than me. And I was like, damn. Like, what do you do to get your beard so good? What kind of food are you eating? And I'm like, you know, maybe she's just whatever, having a hard time. And I'm like, man, Hollywood's kind of whatever, you know. Could be rough. Maybe she's just, uh... An actor trying to get a certain role. And then I walk by her and I'm like, 
about to say like, hey, I hope things are going good for you, and I know she's just taking a shit. Wow. She's just shitting on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys ever think about moving to Hollywood and think it's magical, it's not. I should have took a picture of that lady. I, want, I wish I could show you guys what I saw. It was gross. <laughs> so weird, man. Just like the most magical place, and there's this lady just shitting on the sidewalk. Hi. And she's got a cup for change. I, I would be asking for a cup for toilet paper. I'd be like, does anyone have toilet paper? She, I don't know if she wiped. Maybe with her beard. That's so gross. You know, I saw an article on Facebook where they said that uh, beards contain poop, and I'm here to say that it's true. Because I have definitely licked an ass in my day, and I know, I know, you can... Get some poop in there. <laughs> so nasty. You guys know. You guys have definitely had boyfriends with beards. That's gross. Anyone in here ever been to uh, New York? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I was in New York a couple years ago and uh, I did this this joke that uh, I don't think they liked very much. Uh, but uh, we're not there, so I want to do it. <laughs> All right, so check it out. It's a lot of puns. I like to do puns. Here we go. I, uh, I was in New York, and I saw the Arabian bar, guys. And it's been around for as long as anyone can remember, right? And it's really nice. And when I go, I bring my buddy Jordan, and he'll bring his buddy Chad. We'll get his little sedan. We'll go to the bar. We'll drink a bunch of turkey, which is gross, right? I go outside, and we smoke a whole pack of camels. <laughs> We come back inside, we eat some hummus when we get hungry. I know the bartender, Saddam, his favorite customer, or because I rack up such a big tab. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, she ate. <laughs> Damn. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, this bar, it gets so Pakistan in the line waiting for drinks all night, you guys. And at last call, I ran up to the bar, right, Al-Qaeda slur a little bit, I leaned in and I was like, Kuwait, I was like, Allah, take whatever jihad right there, <laughs> can you hurry, my ice is melting, I'm going to lose my head, the bartender was like, are you serious, and I was like, yeah, man, and he was like, oh, too soon <laughs> Yeah. I said to the bartender, I was like, hey man, I'm loving these ladies in here. Are many uh, chicks going to be sticking around? He was like, what? I was like, I'm kidding. Can I get Muammar drink? He's like, you're Qaddafi, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was in New York. I did that joke. I called it 9-11. <laughs> yeah, I had nine puns. I added 11 more. I was like, I better not forget this. It's an inside joke. And then it crashed and burned. It did not fly well at all. Guys, thank you so much. See you all in